Hey folks, this is a quick video showing you how to adjust the valve clearance on a Honda GX160 or GX200. So the valves, the intake and exhaust valve, rocker arms are located underneath this cover. There are four 10mm bolts holding it on. So we can remove the four bolts. This is our pipe for the crankcase ventilation. Just the breather pipe. Take it out of the way and remove our gasket. We'll reuse the gasket unless it's damaged. The valve on our left is the exhaust valve and the valve on the right going to the carburetor is the intake valve. The clearance settings are 6 thou for the intake and 8 thou for the exhaust which is 0.15 mil and 0.2 of a mil. So we're going to turn the engine over to top dead center of the compression stroke. You can do that by taking out the plug and putting in a screwdriver to find when the piston is fully up on the compression stroke or just turn it over by hand slowly and find the sweet spot where both rockers are fully loose and neither valve is moving when you rock the engine over and back. Put a 14 mil spanner on the larger of the two nuts and a 10 mil on the lock nut. I'm going to just loosen that off, do that on both of these. So we're going to insert our 6 thou feeler gauge into the intake side and we're going to tighten our knot until we can feel resistance on it but enough that we can move the feeler gauge up and down and keeping that in the same position we're going to turn our 10mm lock nut and tighten it up then test our feeler gauge, that's a little bit tight. Often when you tighten the lock nut it puts an extra little bit of pressure on. I'm going to back that off a tiny little bit. Test it again, still a little tight. Back it off a little bit further. Still tight. And that's the perfect amount of resistance now. We can then select our 8mm gauge and insert that. And we're going to repeat the process. We didn't need to back the lock nut off quite so much. A little bit tight. Still too tight. A little bit. And that's perfect. Before we finish we're going to turn the engine over a few times. And then go back to top dead center and check our exhaust valve, 8 thou, that's good. And our intake to 6 thou, still good. We can then put our cover back on, we can reuse the gasket. Pop our four bolts in, tighten them up, and we're good to go.